Hello everyone, Kyle here and today we're playing some cooking Yay! simulator. I've often heard people talk about cooking as a relaxing, rewarding and fun experience that can be enjoyed at all ages. My thoughts are those people are likely deranged lunatics and should be exiled from society. With that in mind, let's see why you should never accept an invitation to dine at my house. Here we are in our brand new kitchen. Like any good kitchen, it comes complete with a live studio audience. I say live, but it's only live if you consider cardboard cutouts to be living. I personally do because it makes up most of my close relatives. Uh, what are you doing? Who sits with their hands in their pockets? Oh, it's giving me the heebie-jeebies. I have a feeling, just like myself, you're going to annoy me pretty quickly. There we go, problem solved. I wonder if we can break the cameras. Oh, we sure can. But I guess a TV show without the cameras is just a show. And I don't want to be any part of that. Here, hold this, your TV people now. If I see you using it for selfies, I'll burn this studio to the ground with you inside of it. Enjoy the rest of the show. So to win this cooking thing, we need stars. We can get them from either collecting them from around the studio or, more controversially, cooking food. We need a hundred of them to win. But we aren't going to win because we never win. So the first meal is a sausage and egg muffin with bacon. I'm quite gifted when it comes to guessing the ingredients in a dish. So I already know that we need a sausage, an egg, a muffin and some bacon. It's just the rest of it that I'll need help with. That's why we have these handy recipes. And looking at it, it looks quite complicated. I mean, I don't even know my way around the kitchen yet. So let's have a look at that first. So here we have a microwave. This I'm familiar with. I've never used one, but I've seen them on TV. There's a food processor, which I hope processes food better than I process my emotions. There's also a pro cutter, which just begs the question, how is this a cutter and what makes it a pro? Did you go to school and get a degree? I doubt it. It's a liar, a fraud. It doesn't deserve any love whatsoever. Sorry about that. My therapist did say I need to stop projecting my own insecurities onto my kitchen appliances, but I guess he would say that because he's a toaster. So let's give it a chance to prove itself. Oh goody. I like it when the bananas are so ripe that the skin falls off them when you pick them up. Let's whack it in the machine and oh look at that. I'm very impressed and I'm not easily impressed except for when I am. Let's take this food cutting journey to the next level and see how much we can fit in it at once. Here's a banana, some trout and uh, what the heck. Let's go crazy and add some steak. Surely it can't do a banana, a trout and a steak. Well this is just pure madness. It all fits. And what's that? It wants more? Okay then. How about a friendly little sausage? Just jam that in there. Anything else? How about a meat Swiss roll? Does that fit? No. That's your limit, huh? It stopped. Is your tummy full? Here, let me empty it for ya. Now we can just mash the button some more and presto. We've sliced everything up except for the fish. Seems the fish is uncuttable, which is pretty good if you're a fish. Maybe we can blend the trout instead. No? Oh, aren't you just a tough bugger. I know, let's pop him in the microwave. This is your home now. I feel like this could be the start of a superhero origin story, except it isn't because you're an indestructible trout and that's all you'll ever be. What else do we have here? There's a deep fat fryer, which if I was king of like, I don't know, the world or the universe or Spain, I'd probably make it mandatory in every kitchen. I just like that you can take the sizzling sausage, chuck it in and oh boy, it fries. I wonder what else we can fry. What about the plate? Oh boy, it fries too. I guess the real question is what can't this thing fry? Oh, oh, probably that. Oh dear. Okay, don't panic. We'll have a quick check of all our important assets. Well, the fish is still in the microwave, which is good. Both the ovens have seen better days. But let's be honest, with a deep fat fryer, we weren't going to use them anyway. What else do we have here? Oh, a sink and a bucket. Two of my favourite things. I guess we can clean this place too now that we've made a mess. I like to make sure there's more soap than there is water. Because then when the floor dries, it remains slippery and Enough that you can travel around on your belly like a seal or watch your favorite elderly relative slip and die. It's a lot of fun for the family. Lovely, now we have our concoction. We just need to mix it up like so. Now to just evenly spread it over the floor. Great, let's grab our mop and create a little path of cleanliness. 
There's no real reason to clean it all because that just takes more time. And we need to start our trademark pending sausage MK muffin. Before you realize you're watching a cooking simulator playthrough with very little cooking in it. To the chef station. <laughs> First, take pork breakfast sausage and season with salt and pepper. I can do that. Here it is. Just plop it on the cutting board. Now to find the salt and pepper. Aha, the pepper. Put that over there. And here's the salt. Right, it says to season it. And my favorite season is winter. So I guess I'll just add enough salt so that it looks like a snowy field of high blood pressure and heart attacks. Pepper next. Just a little bit of it though. We don't want to overdo it as pepper can make people sneeze and we aren't crawl <laughs> even with a pre-recorded laughter i feel like they're laughing at me and not with me right the recipe doesn't say to do this but i figured i'd just take control over my own damn life and do the wrong things because i want to now it'll be easier to swallow and trust me with my cooking skills you'll need all the help in that area that you can get right now we must grill it for 80 seconds i'll assume by grill they mean to throw it in the deep fat fry Let's remove some of the broken plate. We wouldn't want that to get mixed up in our sausage meat. Or would we? No, no, we wouldn't. Or would we? No, we wouldn't. Or would we? I suppose we should be timing this really as it said 80 seconds. Just grab the time out of the boiling hot oil and we're golden and slightly burnt. Uh, I've lost track of how long it's already been cooking for. So we'll just set any old time and pretend we know what we're doing. Add bacon to pan and fry for 60 seconds. You heard the recipe, time to fry. Now we've got to add English muffins to a bacon tray. Goodness me, this recipe expects too much from me. Now for the muffin. Where are you hiding muffin? Well, you aren't in the fridge. Or on the shelves oh yes silly me part of every british person's five a day it's amongst all the other inedible food next up we need to bake for 60 seconds oh that irritating sound that isn't my voice must be the alarm calm down we heard you next up we need to crack an egg into a pan well this has been acting as a big pan for me so here you go doesn't time fry when you're having fry now it says transfer onto a plate we'll get a nice big plate just chuck it over to the work area no no it broke another no no that also broke another no no that also also broke another no another no fine i'll carry it We need to transfer the pork sausage and bacon onto this plate. Just need to locate it amongst the shards of ceramic. Oh, I forgot about the pan. Nice, our English muffin is stuck to it. Well, that looks nice and crispy. What else do we have here? More plate, more plate. Finally, we found some sausage. Now to fish the rest of it out of the oil. Oh, the bacon. That looks good. And here's some eggshell as well. That also looks good. So we'll include it in our meal. Stop falling off the flipper ah oh, that wasn't that bad okay eggshell added for calcium or protein or something look it up i'm not a science guy more sausage now and even more and here's our egg that looks deliciously heart stopping oh what's this it's either a rubber band or a weird bit of sausage whatever it is it belongs on the plate now got some nice big bits here nice and chunky this is taking forever so we'll stop when something's taken too long just stop doing it and it's over that that's my life motto. Now we'll just add the muffin as well to the plate. There we go. Oh, now time for some cheese. This looks like cheddar. I think I'll put it into our pro cutter to make it nice and thin slices or big fat chunks. Huh, what if we tip it out and add it to the food blender as well? Oh no, I forgot about the food from earlier and now it's all mixed together. Oh, it's disgusting. Oh, well, I'm over it. I mean, some of it's got to be cheese, right? There we go. It's so thinly sliced that it's turned into a liquid we'll go ahead and pour this onto our muffin easy does it this takes a steady hand something i apparently lack as it's completely missed the plate we'll just mix up another batch of liquid cheese oh no but we're low on cheese and whatever the other stuff was that i put in it before well to bulk it up we're gonna have to add the meat swiss roll mm, you just know it's good when the food doesn't even want to mix with itself let's add it to the plate easy does it careful great we managed 
managed to do it this time. The last step is to drizzle it in barbecue sauce. Maybe we want a bowl instead of a plate for this. Let's just... Uh, oh, crap. Do you know what? I don't think it needs the barbecue sauce. That would just ruin the taste. Let's give it to the man that lives inside the wall and see what he thinks of it. Ding, ding. Open wide. Here comes breakfast. What's he say then? No taste whatsoever. Well, I don't believe that. There's a taste that just isn't pleasant. Too much salt, not enough barbecue sauce, and too much salt again. You'd think you'd be happy when someone gave you too much of something, because it means they've been generous and given more than what they had to. Unwanted eggshell. We'll put it on the side then. What are you, five? Bacon. Pork sausage had heating mistakes, and yet the temperature was fine. How is that even possible? Come on, you picky sod. Well, after that huge success, I want to give back to the people who make this show possible. All of you, my beloved viewers. So for one day only, I'll be giving out knives that you can take home and use in your own kitchens. But how do we pick a winner completely at random? I know. Congratulations, you're a winner. Oh, that made me feel funny in my tummy. I think I, dare I say it, enjoyed giving something away. I guess I just like making people happy or something. Don't worry, there's plenty for everyone. I won't stop until you stop catching them. Oh goodness, sir, you've won so many knives that you've built up a natural immunity to them. Kind of like the chicken pox. Oh, do you know what? I think I understand now why they wouldn't let me film in front of a live audience. It's because I'm just too damn kind. Okay, enough of that tomfoolery. Let's make another meal. Okay, so we're making whatever this says next. First step, cut an onion into pieces. We'll need our chopping board back. Just get it from the floor. Before you say it's unhygienic, just remember that we cleaned the floor earlier. So, onion. Got it. Ah, now we need to get a knife back. I'll just borrow that from you. Don't worry, I'll return your prize later. Now to dice it like a ninja. Hey, that'll do. Oh, now we need a bell pepper cut into pieces. Bell pepper. Hmm. Why are there so many of you? Well, let's just guess and take a yellow one. And we needed a red one. Great. Right, cut it into pieces. Good enough. Oh, a tomato cut into pieces. Here's a tomato. Just chop it up. Fantastic. Next up, garlic cut into halves. Well, that's a confusing way to put it. How many halves does it want? We'll just do a few. I think they've been halved enough now. Add to pan. Olive oil next. Olive oil. Olive oil. Uh, close enough. We'll go ahead and add a nice healthy glug of that. Now we need some smoked pepper. Well, this is chili, which is a kind of pepper. So that'll do. Turmeric powder next. Not sure I like turmeric, so I'll substitute it with cayenne pepper powder instead. Let's be smart and read ahead a little bit now. Cumin powder. Excuse me? That's a disgusting thing to ask anyone to do. We'll just add the cayenne pepper powder and write a very angry email to the author of this recipe. Salt next. I think we ran out of salt earlier. We'll have to use a salt replacement. I could cry into the mix but I think I cried all my tears earlier. So the next best thing is starch. Just add that in. A red bell pepper next. What? Another one? Okay then. Fry for 30 seconds. Okay, just pop you down. Add to the pan water, onion, tomato and garlic. I saw water water earlier in the tap but we've also got some bottled water like a snob now for an onion a tomato and a garlic seems weird to be adding all these things for a second time fry for 30 seconds well it's still frying so we're ahead of the game here next up crack an egg into the pan with sauce what sauce no one mentioned anything about a sauce before here's your egg enjoy that now for the sauce ketchup is a sauce so we'll go with that oh nice we've made a reduction I think that's a real cooking thing. Now we have to transfer everything into a casserole. Easy peasy. Except I don't know what a casserole is. So we'll just put it in a tart and call it a casserole. So we want to add the mixture which we've done. But we also want to add more egg, onion, tomato, garlic and a bell pepper. This recipe is just greedy for ingredients. Well there you have it. You're all full of stuff. Seems a little dry though. I don't want to give people a dry meal. So we'll add some liquid to make it a bit more 
or liquidy. Red wine should do the trick nicely. My mum used to always cook with red wine. I mean, she'd drink it while she was cooking, not put it in our food. <laughs> ah, fond memories of childhood trauma. Right, I think this is as good as it's going to get. It's certainly hot as seen by the steam. Let's get it off to the man then. Ding, ding. Oh, well, the taste is bad again. I just want to double check with you, yeah? You are eating the food and not using it as suppository, right? What else do they hate? Well, they don't like the ketchup, which I honestly don't blame you for as it's vile stuff. Unwanted starch? You're unwanted starch. And what's this about an unwanted egg? There's literally an egg in the picture. Unwanted product tart. Eggshell. More eggshell. Oh, you're really starting to grate on me now. Oh, and it's cold as well. Oh, la di da I'm sorry, your majesty. Next time, I'll be sure to set it on fire before I send it to you. Look, look, I'm going to try one more meal. And if you don't like this, I'm just going to give up my dream of being a real chef and become like Jamie Oliver instead. Let's have an easy one this time, yeah? One I can read, preferably. Steak with barbecue and veg. Now you're talking my language, which is very basic English. Just throw it over to our work area. No. A little higher. No. A little further. No. And it's good enough. Salt? Really? You keep complaining about the salt and yet you ask for it. Why can't you be like a British person and just not want any seasoning whatsoever? Oh, we need pepper as well. Do we even still have black pepper? I don't know where it is, so I'm just going to use this instead. What can we use in place of salt to make it not salty? Sugar. That's like the opposite of salt. What's next, tiny screen that I've grown fond of over our short time together and now see as a father figure? Fry for 45 seconds on each side. I'll just do it for 1 minute 30 on one side and beat the system. That's thinking outside the box. We need to make the sauce now. Add to a bowl ketchup. Oh, we're fresh out of ketchup. I'll use soy sauce instead because that's Asia's answer to ketchup. What else do we need? Wine vinegar. I don't know about that, but we do have white vinegar. So I'll just use that. Mustard. Oh, we have that in abundance. Add it in. Water next. We can get that from the tap. Sweet bell pepper powder now. Put a generous amount of that in. Chili flakes. I don't think we have any left. So we can use curry powder in its place. Has curry powder as India's aunt? No, no, it isn't. It just isn't. Oh, we need to add sugar now. I think we used all of it on our steak. I know. We'll use honey as that's just sugar made by bees. But do you know what? We don't need a recipe anymore, so I'm just going to add some mint. Now some elderflower jam because it sounds posh. A couple of cinnamon sticks. Star anise. Give it a good shake about. So we just need to take the steak and drizzle in the mixture. We need our flipper to get the steak because like grandma, it's too hot to handle. Hold on, now we need like maybe a bowl? Yeah, that will work. Just put the steak in the bowl and uh, oh, oh, oh dear. I'm sure whatever it fell in only enhances the flavour. Put it in there. Shake it in to get it in the bowl properly. No, 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 no. Oh. Why won't you do what I expect you to do and not what gravity tells you to do? Here we are. It's in. Now to drizzle. Oh, that's good. I like that it changed the colour of the steak. That's how you know it tastes good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, it looks like toilet water and not the good kind. Yummy. At least I don't have to eat it. Oh, oh my god, it got two stars for taste. What is wrong with you? I hate to think that if this is a two star rating in their system that they've actually had worse. Well, after that success, we can go ahead and do a sparkling pork chop and spring salad. Oh, intriguing. What makes it sparkle, I wonder? Pork shoulder. Well, that doesn't sparkle salt and pepper. Well, that won't make it sparkle either. Cut onion, chilli and the pork shoulder. Come with me. I'm just taking you over here. I'm going to be cutting you up. Let's do two chilies for luck and now an onion. Oh, that looks like a face a bit. We just need another onion added. Oh, there she is. Kill Okay, now to cut it. Add it to a pot. Oh boy, oh boy, I do like pot cooking. Just tip it in. Come on, all of you. Don't leave any behind. Now for another prize giveaway. Hooray! Now 
Next up, we need olive oil, onion, another pork shoulder, a chili pepper. Fry for 60 seconds, then add to a baking tray. So we'll just put it on the stove. There we go. Next up, add to a baking tray. Just need to find one first. Oh yeah, where I normally keep them. On the floor near the bin. Great, just pop you on with our flipper. I still don't see any sparkling though. What next? Add cola, brown sugar and pork shoulder. <laughs> okay, I think we need to buy cola. There we go. It's lucky that we have a shop and an endless budget supplied by the studio. Or who knows what we would have done. Still no sparkles. Boil for 60 seconds. How do we boil it in a bacon tray? That goes against the very name of the tray. Whatever, I'll just put it over here and assume something is happening. Now we transfer it onto a plate. I'm not sure that's going to all fit. I know, we can use our trusty blender and turn it into a liquid. Come on, get in there. Great, looks good. Maybe if we serve it with some bread, it can be like a soup. Let's just cut the bread into manageable bites. There we go. Now we just pour our mixture onto the bread and presto. Now we've got pork soaked bread, but it still isn't sparkling. Oh, my head hurts a bit, which can only mean one thing. I've just had a good idea on how to get the sparkle into this dish. Oh, that was certainly an idea. Just a terrible one. Now we need to replace it. There we go. Looks good. Let's serve that to the man in the wall. Ding, ding. Pretend you're a duck and eat your bread. What's the critics say about the food this time? Well, the taste is non-existent again, but the flavours are good. Sounds like someone is contradicting themselves. He didn't like the bread. He didn't like the glass. And he complained there's no pork. This guy must be stupid. I can say right now that if he'd have sucked on the bread, he would have enjoyed all three of those things at the same time. Do you know what? I'm sick of people like you inside your magical palace hidden behind a space elevator that brings you food. I've got one last meal I'm going to cook for you and you better enjoy it. Fish cooked with gas. Oh yes, I have a blowtorch and a dream and I'm about to end this show with a bang. <laughs> oh literally. Oh, was that it? Oh, that was disappointing. <laughs>